Tendon ruptures around the shoulder. The tendon ruptures around the shoulder are mainly the rotator cuff tendons, the biceps, and the pectoralis major tendon. Let's start by looking at the important anatomy of the muscles around the shoulder. Here you can see the rotator cuff tendons, the four tendons, the supraspinatus tendon, the infraspinatus tendon, the teres minor tendon, and the subscapularis tendon. You can also see the biceps tendon and the pectoralis major tendon. The supraspinatus tendon is the most common of the rotator cuff tendons to be ruptured or to be torn. How do you examine for the supraspinatus tendon tear? The best test for examination of the supraspinatus muscle is the Jobs test or the empty can test. The patient should be either standing or sitting upright. The arm should be anteriorly flexed at the level of the shoulder. Fully pronate the arm into the empty can position. The patient should resist the downward force applied by the examiner. Pain or weakness indicates the supraspinatus tendon lesion. Infraspinatus tendon rupture. The infraspinatus is attached to the back of the greater tuberosity of the humerus. The infraspinatus is a strong external rotator of the shoulder with the arm at the side. And this is how the muscle is tested. The infraspinatus muscle is usually tested by testing the external rotation of the shoulder with the arm to the side. And you're going to test external rotation of the arm against resistance. This rupture may also include the tendon of the teres minor. The patient will have weakness of external rotation with the arm abducted to 90 degree, and it is called the horn blower test. Positive test if the arm falls into internal rotation. Subscapular tear. The subscapularis is an internal rotator of the shoulder. There are several tests for the subscapularis. Belly press test. The patient is standing with the hand of the affected arm resting against the stomach with the elbow anterior to the mid axillary line. The patient is then asked to press the belly against the affected arm without moving the elbow. Failure to maintain the elbow anterior to the mid axillary line while pressing against the belly indicates predominantly a subscapularis tendon tear. The bear hug test. The patient is asked to place the palm of the hand into the opposite shoulder with the elbow anterior to the body. The patient will maintain the intended rotation of the shoulder in this position and the examiner will then attempt to externally rotate the arm. Positive test will result when the patient shows weakness of the arm compared to the opposite arm. The bear hug test and the belly breast test, both of these tests test the upper subscapularis muscle. The lift off test is a good test for the lower subscapularis. The lift off test, the patient places the hand behind their back at the lumbar level. And if the patient is able to lift the hand away from the back, 
This is a sign of probably an intact subscapularis tendon. If the patient is unable to lift the hand away from the lower back, then a tear of the subscapularis tendon is suspected. With complete rupture of the subscapularis tendon, the biceps tendon may dislocate from its groove and gets pulled or displaced medially. Biceps tendon Rupture of the proximal biceps tendon is most often found in association with rotator cuff tear. Dislocation of the biceps medially is often found in association with subscapularis tendon tear. Rupture involving the long head of the biceps tendon usually result in a Popeye muscle bulge. Pectoralis major tendon rupture. Pectoralis major tear usually occurs in young male weightlifters during bench pressing from eccentric contraction or lengthening of the muscle. Usually there is pain around the shoulder area and the patient will feel a pop in the shoulder area while performing the bench press. There would be discoloration and burning over the pectoralis into the axilla. There will be swelling, ecchymosis, and palpable defect. The patient will have loss of contour of the axillary fold. Tendon avulsion from the humerus is the most common type of injury to the pectoralis major muscle, and the tear is usually a complete one. Treatment, early repair of the tendon should be done. Reinsert the involved tendon into the humeral shaft lateral to the biceps tuberosity. Thank you very much. I hope that was helpful.